Hi, Dr. Lisa Thompson of The Digital Marketing Doctor, where I help home-based business owners create healthy, profitable, and sustainable online businesses. And I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. On this edition of The Doctor is In, I'm going to show you how you can take a prospect from engagement to enrollment using Facebook. So stay tuned. Today we're continuing our discussion from yesterday's episode of The Doctor Is In where my mentor Diane Hockman has been sharing with me how you attract your perfect prospect to your Facebook wall to increase engagement. And now today we're going to talk about the steps from engagement to enrollment. Now if you didn't watch yesterday's episode of The Doctor Is In, I highly recommend that you pause this video right now go and watch that video because then what I'm going to explain to you now is going to make much more sense. But if you've already watched yesterday's video, let's get right to it. Now, once you have people commenting and they're liking your post and they're liking more than one post or they're leaving more than one comment on your status updates, what you're going to do next is you're going to go to their Facebook wall and you're going to look and be cool. You're just going to find out more about them. So you're going to look at, you know, what friends do you have in common and then scroll down their wall and you're going to find out what pictures that are they putting up that you might have in common. Maybe you have a love of pets. Maybe it's a love of sports. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's a food. Maybe it's a place that you travel. Whatever it is, something that you guys have a common ground on. And then you're going to write on that person's wall. You're going to write with them and, and especially under that image and make some comments. Make sure you're tagging their name in the comments that way they, they see that in their notifications right away. And you're going to want to carry on the conversation for a couple of sessions or for a couple of turns and then you're going to want to carry them that conversation from the public Facebook wall and then make it a private conversation. And this is a mistake that many people on Facebook make. I used to make that too where you would talk with them privately and Diane said to think of the person's Facebook wall as their house. And if you go in and you start you know private messaging them that's like you barging into their house when they're not ready and it's a it's you know you're kind of invading their privacy. So you want to ask always ask permission to talk with them via private message. Once you've done that, then you sit down and you can carry on the conversation more. And then there's going to be a point in the conversation which will become the pivotal moment. And that pivotal moment will be where they will confess something or they're going to complain about something that is going to be your opening to talk about your business opportunity or to talk about marketing, talk about your program. But here's what you do. Once that pivotal moment happens, then you're going to make an invitation. Now, most people think, well, then that's when we talk about giving them the link to our opportunity. Diane said, do not do that. Instead, you want to get them on your email list. And how you preface it that is, let's say you're talking with this prospect, you know, you might have something in common like dogs and you're talking and, and then they may say something that, you know, I wish I could take my dogs to, to, you know, go here and here, but I have to work all the time and I'm not making enough money. And, um, and then all of a sudden that's your in to say, you know, um, have you done anything with making money online before? Yeah, but then I'm not paying too much attention to it because I can't get leads. Then you say, well, great. You know, you can counter and say, I have a great newsletter that I can offer you which shows you how to get leads um, for free on a daily basis. Would you be interested in signing up for my newsletter? And you make it very conversational. Nine times out of ten, people will be more willing to sign up to your email list than they will to look at an opportunity like. And it totally disarms it. Now that doesn't mean you're creating an actual email newsletter. What that is, is you're just sending them information then, providing value and content on how, you know, giving them strategies to grow their business. And then you can start exposing them to your product, services, and opportunity. And what this does is this whole process helps you find the, it determine if that prospect is the right fit. 
that's you know one of the things that Diane has and why she's so successful is that she enrolls people who want to work with her because they have a common bond and they will always want to work with her and she has a very high retention rate of people who stay in with her now you have to understand this important concept people don't join companies compensation plans or websites they join people who they know, like, and trust. And this is an effective method that will help you wind up getting the right prospects into your business. Now, if you found this information helpful, please comment and share. And if you want to know more information about the attraction marketing platform that Diane taught me this concept on, please visit DrLisaMThompson.com. This is Dr. Lisa Thompson. Thanks for watching this episode of The Doctor's In, and I will talk to you tomorrow.